All right, here we go. So we're just gonna start with knee hugs. Kind of wake up a little bit. It is very hot here in Middle Tennessee. Got another hot one here. Gotta make sure to stay hydrated. All right, now I'm gonna add on. So you're gonna give me one knee hug, then one arm circle back. One knee hug, a little brain work for you right out of the gate. One knee hug, one arm circle back. Knee hug. So when, not if, when I mess it up, you guys keep going. I'll say something and I won't do my own command. Last one with the right. And then last one with the left. All right, now, you're just gonna scissor the arm, open, open and close, criss and cross, and try to make those end points a little longer. That's it. Now we're gonna turn this into open up, take your gaze up, and then round out and hug yourself. Nose up, and then chin down, round out. So you wanna feel a big stretch in your upper back and shoulders here. Chest and shoulders, neck, upper back and shoulders. And I'm just showing you from the side so you can see what I'm doing here. Coming back to front facing. All right, guys. So you're going to stack your arms one over the other. I look like Jeannie. All right, I'm going to hinge over. One, two, and then come up. I'm making it active. Bounce. One, two, come up. One, two. And if you hate the genie part, you can drop the arms. One, two. One, two. Getting a little posterior chain here warmed up. You got one more in your warm up. All right, get to where you can do an inchworm, okay? This is full body. You're gonna walk out to a plank. Once you get there, take one foot. I'm taking my right one. Step forward into a lunge. Reach up. And then you're gonna walk back up. You guys know this one. Let's do it again. Walk out to a plank. Take the other foot. Step forward as far as you can. Open up the hips. Take that same side arm. Reach up. Go back to a plank. <clears throat> a lot of trainers call this the best stretch ever because it gets everything. If you don't have a lot of time to warm up, this is a good one. So you're gonna do two times on both sides. So I'm on my last one. Walk out to a plank. Take that foot, step forward. Take that same arm, reach up. And then walk all the way back up. Once you get done, come all the way back up to standing. All right, I want you to grab weights that you can press overhead with a sumo, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. It's 45 seconds. So legs wide, start right here. The other option is to alternate, right? So you're gonna sink into the heels, press overhead. Keep the palms facing in, it's a little more shoulder friendly. So, this is your bout of heart work, hard work. It's 45 seconds. And then it's gonna be interspersed with some recovery periods. We're gonna call them active recovery. And they're shorter today. So it's 45 seconds here. 15 seconds of active recovery. A little shorter, but they're a little more basic. All right, everybody, 15 seconds. And then you're gonna lay the weights down. We're gonna be doing four body weight twists, and then you're gonna touch a toe, okay? All right, here we go. It looks like this. Plant your feet. One, two, three, four, touch a toe. One, two, three, four, touch a toe. Twist, 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 touch a toe. Twist, 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 twist. This is the last one. See, you're already there. Okay, now you're gonna come down on the ground. You can also do this on a chair. It's a push up plus a shoulder extension. So let me show you. Push up here or push up here. I like to do my knees. So one push up. One reach, palm faces in. One push up, one reach. Keep going, you're working. I'm gonna show you the chair version. In case you wanna do coffee table or a chair, you do your push up and then you get in that tripod. Reach forward, one push up, 
reach forward. If you have shoulder issues and you don't like that, take that reach out. Just do the push-up part. All right, keep going for me, keep going. Give me one more. All right, now quickly come on up. I'm gonna go right into it. Arms up, I'm gonna touch the inside of my ankle. This is all you're doing, 15 seconds. It's quick. Now be thinking about what weight you want that can do a kickback, because we're gonna do a narrow row with a kickback next. Three, two, and one. All right, quickly grab your weights. I'm gonna try the big boys. I'm gonna have you hinge over here. Give me a narrow row up. Kick back, extend the arms. Come back, extend the arms down. Pull up, squeeze your shoulder blades, extend the arms back and down. Do as much weight as you can handle with good form. If you feel like you're having to sling it up, go down in your weight. Or you can alternate these guys. All right, stay with it. We're almost there. This will be the last one. One row, kick back, and then down. Set your weights down. Go ahead and get them out of the way. And you're tapping and punching. Remember, this is really quick. Not a long recovery, active recovery. And if you need to get water, you, this is the time to get it. Three, two, one. Grab one heavy dumbbell. Whew. Those of y'all that took group fitness from me, it was like the medicine ball. It's going to be here on the shoulder, but I'm holding it. Give me a squat. You're going to take that weight up and over. Squat up and over. So if you have a med ball, you can use a med ball or a kettlebell. Just make sure you've got hold of it. Toes, knees, hips facing forward. Push the butt back. And then I'm just pushing up and over to the other side. So it's an offset squat. All right, guys, we got one more. One more squat, lift up and over. That's it, set that down. All right, this is gonna be right arm up, side crunch. That's all we're doing. Remember, it's a little less intense. Balancing on that left side. That's it, elbow to knee, two, one, and done. All right, get a weight that you can do a lateral, ways, a lateral raise with, I can't talk. Here comes your brain work. You're gonna give me a lateral raise, then a right abduction. Try it together after you've done it seg segmented, okay? I cannot talk today. I think it's only because I've had one cup of coffee. I need that second cup. Now here's your brain work. Do it at the same time. You wanna stay tall. You don't wanna teeter, no teetering. So you're getting side of your shoulder, medial delt, with abduction, balance and core, right? So most bang for your buck. How much demand can you put on your body? Come on, last one. All right, I bet you know what's next. Left, side crunch. Elbow to knee, just 15 seconds. Goes really quick. Now that's the first cycle. Once we're done, we're going back to the overhead press with a sumo. Two, one, done. Quickly grab weights that you can press overhead. Get into sumo position, legs wide. Weights in close, palms facing. Sink into the heels, press overhead. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you see what it looks like. I'm dropping my hips down into my heels, pressing overhead. So if you notice, my arms are slightly forward. They're not going straight up overhead. It's just a little more comfortable to my shoulder joint. And if you get to where you feel like you're losing form, then give me one at a time. You just got one more here. Set that down really quick. Four twists, then a toe touch. One and two, three, four. Touch a toe. Four twists. Four. All right, that was perfect. Camera, you got four in. Push up, 
reach forward on the floor or a chair. I'm going to do the chair version this time. So lower your chest to the floor or the edge of your chair. Reach forward, extension. And if you feel like you're rocking, if you feel like you're opening up when you reach, take your legs a little wider. So if you've got a wider base there, I think you can see my feet are in a jumping jack position. That just keeps me from rocking. So I'm lowering my chest to the edge of the chair or down towards the ground and then extend that arm up. One more push up guys, one more extension. Now come out of that, come on up. Whew. Okay, arms are up, tap the inside of the ankle. I couldn't remember what we were doing. My list is so long. And if this bothers your shoulders, of course you can come right here, okay? Always have options. I just try not to give you too many because then it's like looking at the menu at Cheesecake Factory. That damn menu is so long I cannot decide. Time. All right, let's do it. Narrow row with kickbacks. So, do an assessment. Can I do this with good form? Hinge over. Narrow row. Extend the arms back. Triceps, shoulders. Upper back and shoulders, extend the arms back. Now if you feel like you're having to sling the arms back, then go down in the weight, okay? Squeeze the shoulders. Whatever feels hard or heavy to you, not what the other person's doing. One more. <clears throat> we got tap and punch coming up. All right, put your weights down once you finish. Tap and punch. Just body weight. Remember, we're only here a few seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, grab one heavy weight up and over. Whew. Legs a little wider than hips. Hoist it up there. Sit in the heels up and over. Keep going. I'm going to show you one other option. If you have shoulder issues and that does not feel good, you can come here. All right, you can even add a little rotation if you want to mix it up. Not everybody's shoulders likes to go overhead. So you always have an option. I just want you working hard right now. It's a bout of hard work. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you're gonna put that up. Whew. Load your left side, right arm up, elbow to knee. Standing side crunch. So you're just closing the distance between your rib and hip there. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, grab one weight. I went down on mine, so it's the lateral raise with an abduction. Try them segmented. And then if you're feeling kind of crazy, I want you to abduct at the same time. So a string's coming out of the top of your head. Nice and tall. Don't go any higher than right here. All right, don't raise it higher. Pause and then down. Come on. We got one more set of side crunches to go and then you'll be done with this block. That's it. All right, so we did side crunch here, so let's go here. Load that right leg, elbow to knee. Little balance and core. I think we get a water break after this. Three, two, and one. All right, block one is done. Grab some water.